Hello. My name is Byron Smith. I'm a co-writer of my book. But who am I? Who am I to even know that I can write a book? Who am I? This is my introduction. Who am I? Who am I? I was young as a little child and I was always curious about life. I was always asking questions, but my parents didn't want to know the answer or they didn't have the answer. So I got stuck in asking why and asking how and all those things I did when I was a little child. I never take an answer for granted and I never take an answer if it is the truth. So I was always very frustrated that I didn't get the right answer because I felt something different and I suddenly my parents always said that because that's why we, that's, we know that and, and know because we tell you so. And it didn't get me satisfaction. So as a child I was maybe ignoring my parents also and I always asked those questions until my parents decided to buy or be a member of the Winkler Encyclopedia. And when the Winkler Encyclopedia come, came into our house, it was one big book with all kinds of knowledge. So I started reading and reading. And then my parents told me, Berend, there are 24 books of this encyclopedia and every six weeks one book is coming out. So then I decided, oh, six weeks, then I read, have to read this all. So I was reading and reading and reading the encyclopedia. But I didn't know what would happen with all those knowledge that I read. Later on in my life, I found out that most of the knowledge that I read kept into my mind. When I was talking later on, when I was with people, I was, they were talking about some subjects and I know it, I could talk with them because I, I, I had somewhere hear it, or, but it was probably from the reading the encyclopedia. Later on I went to the military force. I went, I'm a veteran, I'm a Lebanon veteran. Then I went, uh, went to America, I was uh, at the uh, cruise lines and uh, started uh, working there. Then I start, uh, came on shore and I lived in, uh, in California. I have spent 10 years in America. Because my curiosity never went away, and still is not away, and after studying all these things, philosophy, uh, psychology, quantum physics, it, it keeps kind of getting answers because it has to do with life, who you are as a human. And I'm always thinking when I was working as a, a troubleshooter, I was always thinking I'm always lucky. I'm always lucky. So I was always lucky because the things that I said and the things that I did came all through. So what I did, and so I was figuring out how I become so lucky all the time. That the things that I say, well, this is happening and this is happening, it all, it all happened. Well, I found out that I did one thing always. I always looked at the end. Always look at the end. If I have to work on this and this and this, how would it be when the end result is? What is the end result? And I kept always the end result in my vision in my thought. And then I found out if you put your end result at a vision as something there is there, all the pieces of the puzzle fell into that end result. When I discovered that, and I, at the same time, I, f I came along, I, I came to uh, a bookstore and I found a book and I think that it was Think and Grow Rich. Think and Grow Rich from Napoleon Hill. And I was intrigued by that book and I started to use that book in my businesses. When I started to use that book in my businesses, it didn't give me all the satisfaction. People came with the higher results, but not always it sticked. It didn't stick to them. They, when I was gone, they felt, they fell back. So it was a little bit frustrated for me that you build up a company with the method of Think and Grow Rich and people adapt that but they don't go further. And if I'm gone or not doing things with it, they're falling back. So there must be something I discovered that there must be something why people fall back. And then I decided to use my knowledge of my study, use my knowledge of life, use my knowledge of my thinking and put that into practice. People adapted. It was a way of living, but it was not written anywhere. 
So people ask me, Bear, Bear, where we can find this? How we can read this? And how, where is it? I said, well, it is an old method. Yes, but it's working. Is there no book? And at that moment, I decided to write my book. My book is written for you. I have met Diana, and alone I would never could write my book. So I've met Diana, and with Diana, my partner, we have written my book, and my book is written for you. Thank you.